Is it ever okay to put fake projects in your portfolio as a designer? My answer to that is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I would go about doing that and how I would go about building a portfolio. So I'm gonna show you me designing in time-lapse format a landing page for a fictional business idea that Claude AI gave me. So the prompt basically requests 10 different ideas with a business name, a description, and three service blips features essentially. And that's all you really need. So I found this one and the idea here is to hop into Figma and come up with a landing page as if this is for a real client. Now what's great about this is there's very few constraints and as such you're able to demonstrate you know what you would be designing if you didn't have all of these constraints in place Right here, I'm just finishing up the navigation, which is typically where I always start on a design. Nothing too fancy is really happening. We're just keeping it simple. I also used Midjourney AI to generate this picture of a plant. And my idea is to make it the center focal point of the hero section. Now, what would be super cool is to use Rive and turn this rastered plant graphic into an animated mesh where the leaves and the stem and such would move in a realistic manner. At this point, you'll see me experimenting a lot with position and placement of various elements. I don't have an exact idea in my head of how I want things to be laid out from the get-go. Instead, it's a more fluid process that changes as I experiment. Now it's obvious with this hero section that it's going to be structured into three columns on desktop. The left column containing the headline and primary call to action, the middle portion being the animated plant graphic, and then on the right column, that can list out common plants that can benefit from this system, which can also be an animated list. So here's the hero section. Imagine the animated plant with the trust logo section animating beneath it and the plants list animating vertically to the right of it. So far, so good. For the next section, I once again use Midjourney AI to generate a little IoT sensor. Now it'd be super cool to use Rive to animate the little blue circles coming from and into the sensor. For this section, I'm going to design a mock mobile phone app that shows various alerts pertaining to the sensors.
In this section, I'm going to show two separate video feeds of plants demonstrating a feature where these sensors can communicate and learn from each other. Finally, I used Midjourney to generate an isometric 3D raised garden bed, and after implementing it, it really makes the whole layout come together. So overall, I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. And to take it a step further, I would like to actually get this realized in a browser through HTML, CSS, or even a no low code you know, tool like Framer or something like that. Uh, so that then I can use Rive and I can use Unicorn um, in order to show what this would actually look like on the browser. Now, this wouldn't make sense if you're strictly a UI UX designer. Um, but if you also have front-end development skills, again, be that the, via code, you know, the raw way, or through a no-code tool like Web Studio, Wix Studio, um, or Framer, then you would, it would completely make sense to take it a step further and try to create an actual polished project based on this fictional business idea. So as always, if you're interested in learning more of this stuff, definitely check out my UI UX design course and all my other courses here in the description YouTube video. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.